when we're looking at bitter foods to incorporate into our diet, dandelion greens are fantastic. You can get them at, at a, a good uh, um, uh, co-op or natural food store. We'll usually have really high quality dandy, dandelion greens or your local, your local farmer's market. Or if you're a wild crafter, you can go out and just eat some dandelion leaves out of a, out of a field somewhere that's, that are clean, preferably. Uh, doesn't take much, just a leaf or two, just to get that taste of bitter in there. Endive, escarole, those are really good to add into your diet. Those have nice bitter compounds to them. Also your dark leafy greens, so things like uh, mustard greens, uh, collard greens, kale, those all have a, a slightly bitter aspect to them. Also chicory root, dandelion root, burdock root. You can get burdock root at the grocery store as well. That's a traditional bitter. Ginger is a traditional bitter as well with a little bit of heat to it. So it improves digestion, reduces inflammation, and has that little, you, you'll find that in bitter formulas many times. Now, I love to incorporate bitter foods into my everyday diet. There was a, 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 um, a teacher in North Carolina where I'm from, Frank Cook, he said, eat something wild every day. And I thought that's a fantastic uh, recommendation because wild foods are are a great source of nutrition. They have much more life force in them than uh, something that's been cultivated and cared for and pampered. Uh, so you can go out, eat a dandelion leaf, eat a dandelion flower. Those are really good. Uh, and you'll just get some, some wild food in you, some highly nutritious food, and you'll get a little bitter stimulation as well. And then you can do digestive bitters as well in a tincture form. Uh, we make those here. Uh, we have our own little apothecary where we can blend up different bitter formulas depending on what, what your needs are. So in the classification of bitters, there are warm bitters, there are cooling bitters, there are aromatic bitters. So there's a variety of ways that you can go with bitters to elicit specific physi physiological responses. Um, so as an example, if somebody tends to run really hot, they're flushed all the time, you know, they're always red, they're always sweating, that's a person you would want to give some cooling bitters to. So things, uh, uh, you, don't, you, don't wanna, you wouldn't want to give them ginger as an example. You would probably want to give them something a little more cooling, uh, wormwood, uh, maybe uh, uh, some Oregon grape root, um, just some, some more cooling dandelion root, things like that. Uh, burdock root, the roots that are underground and, and a little more cooling. If somebody tends to run cold, um, then you might want to give them some spicy bitters, get that fire going in the belly again. So there's a, a variety of ways to work with these.